Hello and welcome to my channel again. This time the topic is how to get imperial authority. The example game is Catholic Ottomans and the year is 1629. I just got elected as the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. And at the moment I'm having a nice number of imperial authority, 77.5. But I'm losing it very fast. In less than 10 years, I will lose it all. And um, I need imperial authority to pass the reforms. Uh, why is imperial authority important? The first thing is, as I said, it is needed to pass the reforms. The other bonus is that if you have imperial authority, you get easier elected when your ruler dies. And there is also one diplomatic action where you can um, change your extra imperial authority uh, into positive opinion. How do you get imperial authority? Well, you can open the HRA tab and hover your mouse over the Imperial Authority number. It uh, lists things that you can use to gain it or lose, lose it. Also hovering your mouse over the change value gives the ex exact number of the different effects. Let's go through this method one by one. The simplest way of getting imperial authority is to add your provinces into the empire. You do this by selecting the province and then uh, pressing the button Add province to the Holy Roman Empire. Every time you add one province, you get one imperial authority. Uh, however, however, you should be careful with your capital because adding your capital into the HRA means that you will also become a member state. And uh, it has some nice bonuses like um, it's easier to get re-elected. However, it will also um, reduce your government rank, which currently I have an empire, to the, to the Dashi level. And it has some nasty effects. For example, uh, I would lose Egyptian, Syrian and Muscari cultures as accepted because they are part of my uh, culture group and that only applies uh, when I am an empire. It would also reduce the number of states by 10, leaders without upkeep by 1, diplomats by 1 and it would increase the national focus cool down from 15 to 25 years which is something I don't want to do. You can have more imperial authority per month if you increase the number of states in the empire. For each state above the number of 25, you get 0.004 imperial authority per month. For example, at the moment, there are 32 member states in the empire and I'm getting uh, 0.03 imperial authority per month. You can increase the number of state by splitting existing ones, freeing nations. If there are no internal wars in the empire, you get uh, 0.1 imperial authority every month. Uh, you can keep the peace by uh, participating in wars and ending, ending them quickly or by sending warnings um, to the nations not to go into wars. Each free city gives you 0.005 imperial authority monthly. You can have up to eight free cities in the empire and uh, the emperor can grant this status to any one province republic. 
you should keep in mind that you must be prepared to defend them too. If you have less than seven electors in the empire, it will lower your imperial authority by 0.1 for every missing elector. For example, here I have only four electors and I'm losing 0.3 imperial authority each month for that reason. You can nominate new electors with the emperor action grand electorate. But please notice that uh, they have to be of the correct, correct relation and they must also like you enough so that they would accept that. Relation is also important. Uh, currently I'm losing 0.25 imperial authority because there are 25 heretic princes in the empire. So 0.1 uh, imperial authority for each heretic prince. Uh, what can you do? Well, there is an uh, emperor action called enforce religious unity, which you can use to force a religion into the prince's country. However, you need to have good opinion, prestige, and uh, you have to have borders near that country. The other option, option is to wage war against the prince and then in the peace deal force the religion. The biggest loss in imperial authority at the moment is due to the fact that there are 68 provinces in the empire under the control of non-member state and <clears throat> actually it is my state mostly because I added too early these provinces into the empire. So it seems that uh, I am forced to join the empire at the moment. Please don't do the same uh, mistake by adding the provinces too early. Uh, the amount of penalty is uh, 0 0.005 for each province under non-HRA nation. There are a couple of more bonuses. For example, you get 10 imperial authority each time your dynasty is re-elected as an empire. You get a minus 10 um, penalty for declining defensive calls of arms. And um, each month you get a penalty of point one if your elector is a vassal. So I think my to-do list is ready for this game and um, I think that's all for this time. Thanks for visiting my channel again and see you again. Bye.